Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? So, here is our great big long line of fertilizer that we created yesterday at the end of the episode. And today's, well, this week's weekly question. As I said last, uh, as I said yesterday, I'm not actually putting a poll up. It's, it's not like a, a, a multiple choice question. What I want you to do this week is I want you to head into the comment section down below and give me suggestions and ideas of things that we can do with this long line of fertilizer. Um, do we like try to increase it, um, add more volume to the fertilizer line and, and then do other things with it? I mean, I've, I've got no idea. I get so many suggestions for different things that we can try on the map, um, different things that we can do at different stages during this game. Um, so I, I really don't know what you might suggest. So I really want to hear all of your suggestions. So there is no poll, there's no question going to pop up. You can't click on the white eye in the top right hand corner to cast your vote because there is no vote casting. I want suggestions and I will read through all of the suggestions. I will read out my favorite ones and then I will pick one or two, maybe, or maybe even three, I don't know, um, of my favorites. And those are the ones that we will do. So get into the comment section, let me know what you would like and why, let all of us know what you'd like and why, and I will pay attention to the likes on the comments. So if, you get, if you're getting likes, um, if, if someone else has suggested something that you like the sound of, give that comment a like and I will see it and I will know that more than one person really likes this idea. Um, maybe reply to it to improve upon it if you think there's anything else that could be done. Um, so really, this, this is what I want you to do this week, is I want you to get into that comment section and tell me all about your different ideas of things that we can do with the fertilizer over on this part of the map. Because we haven't really done anything over here. We're, we're, right, we're down by field nine. Um, so we haven't done a lot down here. And I did dump the fertilizer here thinking that we wouldn't do anything with it. But now I'm thinking that maybe we could do this. This, this could be a good idea. So there we go. Head into the comment section. Let us know what you want and why. And of course, you can actually cast a vote this week. So, moving on, let's go. Uh, we want to go through. Hang on, we'll go. We want to go back this way. So this one here, we, we'll get to that one. That's what we're going to use to feed our cows. So let's go back through our other machines. The battle tractors. We're not doing anything with those today. We. Oh, our uh, Zeta is doing a grand job. Look how much this Zeta has covered. We've had this running through the entire series. And I put it going at the beginning of each episode and it just keeps sort of just trickling away, working away. And this is how far it's gotten so far. It might, it might finish this field before we finish this series, which would be absolutely amazing. Right, let's just watch it do the turn. Very exciting times. Very exciting times. Let's just see it do the turn. And here we go. Right, I think I shook my head back then. I don't know if that is yet. Yeah, uh, see, I can see, like, the, the voice um, things on the side, and it does look like it's done something a bit funny when I shook my head, so I apologise for the weird sound. Anyway, that one's carrying on. We don't need to worry about that. I have got a couple of things that I have made some changes to, so I want to go through and... I want that one. We'll go for this one today. First thing that we got to do, though, is we need to go to our newly planted field of grass, which is... Where is our newly planted field of grass, by the way? Uh, it's over there. It's the other side of that gorge. So we need to go over to there. Well, we'll just go and take a look at that one first. And this, Can I clear the gorge? That's the first thing. Is Can I get over the gorge with... Oh! <laughs> oh! Did you see that? That was so, so close. Oh, that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. That was brilliant. And this isn't the field that I wanted to get to anyway. But yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, so uh, field 14. We were in the field that we wanted to be in. Why was I at the end of field 14? I don't know why I was at the end of field 14. But that is the one that we want to be in. So let's go over here. And are you going to you gonna make it? Are you going to make it? Right, you're stuck in the mud at the bottom of the gorge at the moment. Come on, up, 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 up the bank, up the bank. You can do this. I have every faith in you, tractor. There we go. <laughs> right. This is the field. And we need this grass to grow. That's going to be the first thing. So if we just stop here a moment and 
Actually, we can leave the engine running, that doesn't really matter. Now, I have, because I've got the creator tools, it allows us to speed up time a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through until the morning. Um, there we go, we're on 7,000 times faster than normal. It gets very dark here at night, doesn't it? So now we can sort of slow down a little bit. I want it to go sort of like 8, 9 o'clock, because it does, war it does sort of brighten up a little bit then. So there we go, we can slow right down now. Now what we need to do is we need to wait for the map to catch up. It does take a while for the whole of the map to catch up with um, the, the correct stage. So we have to let that run all the way across the map. Um, the bunker silos, they're both done fermenting now, which means that we've now got silage and we've got some straw available for our cows. The other thing that we've got, let's just go to here a minute. Uh, plant growth is on normal. Withering is off. That's perfect. That's what we want. So we've got fruit types, growth. This down here is nearly done. What I want to do is I want to wait until this is harvested. And then when it's harvested, I would like to... Hang on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on grass as well. And then I'll move forward. At the moment, growth is still showing harvested on here. So that's the, just the first stage one, once it's grown once. Um, so we need that to grow again. Actually, it's got to do two more growth stages. So we may have to wait a little while before it does. Field 18 down here. This is the other one that we planted. Um... That one we will be harvesting at some point. So we, we'll get to that one. Has that gone on another stage already? Is it, is it gone on two stages now? Yes, it has. That's gone on through two stages. Field 18, there, you can see now where it's updating. It's sort of working its way across the map. And it does this. It will do it down through in slices. And then when it gets to the end, then um, it might go back to the top of the map and it might start updating it doesn't look like it's going to update that but it has updated that growth stage there i don't think any more if we i'm going to wait a little bit longer and then i'll uh actually can we doesn't look like it's going to be any more changes so we could do this now actually we want to fast forward again so we're going to go through until tomorrow that's where i want i what i what i'm after is the field down in the corner being in um, either harvested or cultivated state. I don't want it in planted state. Right, 15,000 is very fast. That's a very fast growth time. And stop at 9 o'clock. There we go. So now we... That should now update. Yes, it's updating now. It's, it's moving its way down across the map. So we'll see it here. There we go. So our grass is now fully grown. And well, the sugar beet is not actually ready yet. Oh, yes. Look, there is a little line there. So some of the sugar beet is ready. This field here is halfway through uh, harvested stage. So let's just wait a minute. And right, field 11 is now harvested stage. 9 and 10 still haven't changed. I'm going to wait a few minutes just for it to update and then we can take it from there. I have fast forwarded uh, several more days and so far it's not really changed very much this one down here hasn't changed at all and these all up here these have stayed at the same stage the final harvest stage uh so have the tops here some of them have gone past harvest and gone on to the next bit most of them haven't changed however field 19 has now updated a little bit because i fast forwarded it so much at 15,000 times speed i suspect it may have introduced a bug or two into the map so what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to sort of leave it and wait um, the, we don't have any issue over, actually, field 8. Yeah, see, the, the graphic on here is still green, but it's saying the tops are ready to take off. Actually, no, that is, that is how it's supposed to be for sugar, that's sugar beet, that's potatoes. So our sugar beet up there is ready to harvest, our worker is still going strong in the field. The grass is all ready. All of our other crops that we planted, they're ready to go as well. So we got something to have. The reason I wanted to fast forward it was because I wanted this crop to be to go through to harvested stage, so that then I could buy the field as harvested, so that all that sugar beet, that not sugar beet, all the fertilizer that we tipped out in a line up through here, we could do something with. But I suspect because I tipped the fertilizer on here and I've got the combines on this field, that might have something to do with why it's not updating properly. Because we took up here into field two. That's where we went and dumped the seed, wasn't it? Out of the other trailer. It was in. It was up here somewhere in this corner. Anyway, none of that really matters. What we're after today is we're going to go for this one. And we've got this field ready. So, like I said, we've gone forward several days. So, it, it may just be that the map needs a little while to update. Um, so, we're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. I want to go down here to the shop. And 
We are going to have to get rid of our faithful minion companion because we are using some mowers today. And the first... I've got two sets of mowers. I've, I've altered the same set of mower um, in two different ways. So, woo, easy tiger. Um, click the middle button to reset that one. And press Q to reset that one. There we go, that's a bit better. Um, let me just sell back. Minion, I want to sell the minion. I need to sell you. So why aren't you being, why aren't you sellable? Apparently I can't sell him. Okay. I will leave the minion there. Stuart can stay there and let's just hop into our tractor a second and I want this one here. We want to go to mowers is the first thing that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a little bit of mowing. So we have the FC3525 F and we have the FC3525 F Percy. I also have the 130 and the 130 Percy over here. Uh, first up, we're going to be using these two. And these have been modified, uh, just not as much as Percy has been modified. So let's just buy that one as well. There we go. Back out of here. So first up, we want Percy and... Uh, no, we don't want Percy. We want the standard one to start with, not Percy. Uh, it's come around here. These, you can't attach these onto the back and do reverse driving with them. These are just standard front mount, uh, front and rear mounted mowers. So let's just back out of here. And we get that one on as well. Right, now we want to go back up to field 14. We're going to go near the edge of the field so that we can start doing the mowing. And I want to show, there's something about this that is really quite amusing. It's, it's good fun. So let's just jump there to near the edge of the field. And we get... We'll come over near this end here. We, we, we're not going to go right up to the very edge. We can do that a little bit later. But first of all, we need to unfold the mowers. So let's unfold that one as well. And we can start that one up. Actually, I've just pressed H. Nope, stop a minute, stop a minute, stop a minute. And the problem with this one, for some reason, whenever you, um, you finish uh, working... This, the, the rear mowers, it folds them up. And I don't know why it does that. It does seem a little bit strange. But we'll drop that one down. He's now going to unfold it. So at least it is unfolding it and placing it back on uh, before it uh, takes off with it. And he's away. Right. Did I alter this one? Or did I leave it as it was? Uh, I left it as I originally did it. So what I did with this one was I increased the speed that the mower can run at and it ended up being too fast as you'll see in a minute and this is why you can see it now he's starting to correct himself just a little bit it, it, it goes one way and he goes the other way and it's getting too much even for the computer to um, correct it properly and this is what I noticed about it and it starts to get more and more drastic it might get all the way down to the end um, occasionally it would do okay the, the other change that I made to the mower, and there it goes, it comes around to the end, and now it's going to be confused, and I don't know if it's going to be able to go back to the correct position in order to carry on with the mowing. It is lagging a little bit. It seems to be, it's, it's thinking about where to go, but it doesn't actually know at the moment. It's, it's still considering what it's supposed to do. It's probably going to stop. Because it comes off the edge of the mowing line so fast, and it's trying to turn at the same time. It does sort of um, sort of screw with its um, like root finding and stuff like that. Really, really doesn't like it. So it just come back a little bit. And what's it going to do now? Oh, it's, it looks like it's actually finding itself. Yes, it's going to come round and it will set to the right position. But yeah. Basically, this is too fast. I mean, it's, it's fantastic being able to mow at this kind of speed, but ultimately, this is too fast for uh, the tractor to be able to cope with um, and for the AI to be able to cope with. So I did have to alter it slightly to bring it down from this, although I did think it could be quite good fun to try to do the mowing like this. I also tried mowing the field uh, sideways, but for some reason it won't work. It leaves a whole load of gaps of um, grass that hasn't been cut. So we're not going to be able to do it that way. Because of the major issues with the four times maps, I have chosen not to modify. You can see him wiggling now. I did have it that it was going, it was spinning out, out of control. It doesn't look like it's going to do it now. Now that I actually want it to, it doesn't look like it's going to do it properly. 
But he will come up there and try to stop and ram into the fence. That's what he'll do. And what's he going to do now? Is he going to be able to turn? No, he's just he's just going to get confused now. Go on, you, you know you can do this. He's, he's managed to get out of the fence with the front mower. Is he going to get the back mower out? He's done it with the back mower as well. <laughs> there we go. Right. So it's, it's kind of working. He's, he's getting stuck again now. Kind of working, but not really. He's it's genuinely struggling to do all of this. And partly because of the speed that we are mowing at. But let's, let's just do this one. We'll do one more pass. And then we can go and take a look at the mower that... Um, the, the other changes that I made to the mower. I have slowed the mowing speed down so that it will work a little better. Um, I did feel... I felt that we really... We needed that. Um... And I know that some of you may be a little disappointed that I don't have it absolutely flat out. But yeah, going on to the hay turners and the rakes. I have not made any alterations to hay turners or rakes because of the trouble that you get with the four times maps and how they don't work properly. Um, it's to do with hay. It won't pick them up properly and it won't turn it properly. So I didn't want anything going too fast and I didn't want to change um, the working widths or anything like that. So I've left it as it is. And what we'll do with that is we'll just get a whole load of tractors um, and a whole load of turners. And so it's not going to take very long to get through this. So that's kind of my theory with that one. And it's really not going to do it, is it? I spent ages getting this set up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really disappointing now. I've got these mowers so that they'll go absolutely flat out. Let's just turn that one off a minute and try it over here a little bit more where there's some steeper, uh, steeper ground. Let's try it there. Right, go on mowers, you can do this. I have complete faith in you that you will spin out of control. It was literally, it was flying up across the field and it was spinning out of control. I don't know if maybe it was because of the, uh, it was actually while I was on the other mowers, it wasn't this one. So these may perform differently given that they're, um, they're, they're narrower than the other one. Yes, yeah, so obviously I have widened the other ones. That's kind of um, the thing that I do at the moment. Um, oh, now he's wiggling, look at that. Because he's sort of on the side of the hill. He is moving around a bit. He's get, it's getting his wiggle on. Go on. Go out. Do, do, do your thing. I need you to do your thing. I just I just, just once. He's definitely wiggling from side to side quite a bit. Go on. Go on. Go on. Is it going to do it? No. No, it's not. It's definitely not going to do it, is it? Oh, he nearly did it then. He very nearly did it then. Let's come back around. Because he actually, he's actually left the, the, um, he, he actually left the ground there. Let's move over here. Let's try right there. Because that's got a bit of a downhill there to start with. If this bit doesn't work, we're going to go and get rid of these mowers and we're going to get the other ones that I've got ready. And hopefully those will work a little bit better. I mean, they're not going to spin out of control, or they shouldn't do, because I have slowed them down because of the whole spinning out of control issue that uh, sort of reared its ugly head when I was testing them. And yes, I do try to make sure that I test everything that I bring into the map because I don't really want a severely broken mod to ruin our fun. Um, I, mean, I know that the, the little Massey Ferguson tractors, those aren't working great, but they're, they're, they're kind of doing their things. I do have an idea for something that we might be able to get the giant sea drill to work properly. That just left a whole load of grass behind where it just jumped clear of the ground. Left a big slice behind. He's, but he's not wiggling. He's, I think it's because of the, the wider width that I had on the other mowers. That is, I'm actually bitterly disappointed with that. I do like the way that he curls out around the edges here. But um, ultimately, it's been a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping that we would see it at least once spin hopelessly out of control like it's been doing. So let's just go back through here and we'll sell these two. Yes, I want to sell you. And yes, I want to sell you. Okay. Now, I don't know which minion weight is the one down at the yard. i got no way of knowing that. So we'll leave the minion weights alone. We want to go back to the shop now. So I press F11. And launch myself down to the shop. There we go. And we buy the next set of mowers. So our next set are the Percy's. We want the Percy's. So select that one and buy. Yes. Okay. Come back out. And we get that one as well. Now, these I have made a ever such a slight little change to. I decided that when we do actually come to doing the um, the baling and the raking and stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the hay, and it, we may have to go over it. Want, uh, you know, we may have to go over it twice if we can't get it to work properly. I'm not quite sure how we're going to get it all to work properly, but 
hopefully it will. Um, but then I'm not going to use a rake. I have changed the small well gabela slightly to make it uh, wider on the pickup still than what it was. And I'm hoping that will be enough to allow us to bale the field reasonably efficiently. So let's just drop this one up here and bring the map to this point. Now, I come over here. I want to get reasonably close to it. We don't need to go too close. I can't remember how wide it is now. It's about here, I think. But I've managed to... I, there was a few little settings in there that I discovered as I was making the alterations to this one. And so I think I've got this right. I'm, I'm sort of... I'm reasonably pleased with the results. I think that this is going to work well. So let's just start it up and we'll see. So the front one is no different. It's the back ones. Because there's actually two settings on this. You've got, you've got to alter. You can see on the right-hand side, um, it's, it's spreading that grass right the way out. It's because you have two settings. You've got one setting for the mowing and you've got one setting for the deposit of the grass. So I could have left this into like tighter windrows if I'd wanted to. Or I could have left it like this. Now I chose to I chose to widen the deposit. I could have left it as it was, and we'd have just had these strips of grass down through the middle. And I'm actually thinking that if we do, when we go on to our next crazy map, um, I might actually do that. I will change these mowers again so that they do that. And you'll see that I have slowed it down. We've got a top speed of um, 48 miles an hour. It's actually 80 kilometers an hour. In the um, XML files, we change things to kilometers. So we've changed this to kilometers an hour, and I changed it down to 80 kilometers an hour maximum speed, which I thought would be best. I thought that would sort of help us out, and it would be able to stop a little better at the end of the row. It's still not great, but it is doing a much better job than it was. You've got to admit, that was a significantly improved turnaround than what we were doing when we were drifting right out across. And upon a test, um, over I think it's over on that end of the field over there somewhere, uh, it doesn't actually drive into the gorge. There was the, there was a narrow point on one of the fields, and it doesn't drive into the gorge. It stops just in time. Only just, but it does do it. So here we go. And, yeah, I see you've... I've left a wide... I've, I have left a width on the side between where the, the cut is and where the grass is um, deposited. But I felt that... And I've also overlapped as well for the AI... Now, I, did, I deliberately did this overlap so that uh, we don't accidentally leave strips because it does sometimes do that, which can get a little bit frustrating. Um, but yes, I think in the next one, if we can get... Uh, well, we'll either be on a map the same size as this, or if the 16 times map is ready and we can move on to that one, the one that I've talked about. I'm not giving out any more details yet because it's a closed group and um, it's still in the testing phases, um, so I'm not giving out any more details. But if that one is ready and we are able to play it um then we'll i'll probably widen this a little bit further because i mean it's 16 times map it's four times bigger than this one this is four times bigger than a standard map a 16 times map ah problem it's throwing the grass out onto the road that's not very good i didn't think it would do that oh well I don't imagine it's going to present too much of an issue to us. And you can see here, it's not in the least bit concerned about where the grass has previously been cut. It's just going to lower down and it's going to carry on and completely ignore the grass that has already been cut and just deposit the rest of it over the top. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yes, if we can have the 16 times map and that works well, I think that we're going to take something like this as our screenshot today. I haven't done an aerial view for a while. So if we do that, I think that does kind of give an indication of how much we're cutting, I think. Does it? Or doesn't it? What do you think? Um, yeah, we can have it wider, but we could, put, we could deposit the grass into a tighter row so that it's not exactly a windrow, but it's, um, it's still quite wide. Because if you put all of that into a very tight windrow, it could cause some issues with the game. Um, I, because it's trying to like cram everything all into one little tight space. At least that's my theory. I mean, I don't know. I haven't tested it, so we could take a look at that. But yeah, that's to come on a future version of this uh, particular series. And I, it, yeah, it, it depends when we get there as to when we do it. So that one's going really well, but I feel that there is still room for a bit of improvement. And that improvement would obviously have to be another vehicle working this line. Let's just see what it's going to do here because I'm wondering if 
it's going to read that it's... It shouldn't read that the mowing is done on part of it and then give up. At least I hope it doesn't. It's my timer going off to say that we've already run out of time. I was having a lot of fun doing this. We are actually... We're covering the ground really fast. Um, but we could... Yeah, we could do it faster. So let's go to the shop and we'll buy another rolling... I'm keeping one rolling tractor down the bottom. So... Actually, no. I'll tell you what. We won't do that. What we'll do is we will go to this tractor here. We'll unhitch this one. We Our um, situation with the sheep at the moment... We do have wool going. Clearly, there's still 100% because we've got no food in for them. they got plenty of water. We don't need any water. And they uh, there's 11 new sheep. So let's just unhitch that one. We'll start this one up. Now, where's the wool shed from here? I think it's behind... I think it's up over here. There's the wool shed. And we have some pallets. There are a few pallets in there. How many pallets are in here? We've got... We've actually got six pallets in here. I don't know if it will go for a full uh, 12 pallets in there. We'll have to wait and see on that point. Let's just move through. Right, we come out here. This one, we're going to take you down over and put you near the rolling down there. And we'll stop you for a moment. And then we're going to go to this rolling here. And we're going to take you over to the shop. So let's go make you bigger and... Take over the shop. And we'll get another set of mowers for this one. We can sell both of the front weights. So I'll get the mowers and that set up. And then we can get the second one going on the mowers up the top. Right. We have this tractor over here. I'm going to just bring it to the very edge of the field like this. So that it does cut a slightly uh, bigger strip up through as it goes. And we can start unfolding things. There we go. And as soon as it's unfolded, we can start mowing. There, right. You can go up through there, and we're away. Right, we'll just watch this one go up through and see how well it does um, just going down to the end and whether or not it's going to turn properly. I don't think we've got an issue with the gorge on this end of the field. There is a part in the middle of the field where there is a bit of a problem with the gorge. He slowed down an awful lot there, and I don't know what he was... What, why is he slowing down? thinking about something right that should be the end of it there we go right so he's come to the end and he is actually quite happy with that he's going to go up here and turn around the width of it does sometimes confuse it and because you've got to set the width um the ai width you've got to widen that as well it does sometimes like confuse it even though it should in theory be able to cut through everything this is the other bit is it going to cut all of it even though it's over a steep slope it does it does the job perfectly Excellent. Right, anyway, we'll leave those mowing. We can come back to those tomorrow. Um, my weekly question for this week is I want your suggestions and comments in the comment section. What would you like me to do with this great big pile of fertilizer that we have here? It's a big, long line of fertilizer, and it seems to be blocking these two fields here from actually being able to do anything, um, from being able to... Um, to ripen or to go to cultivated state or anything like that so yeah we want to do something with this we've, we've got fields of wheat there and that actually that's jumped it really really well because of the increased weight that i've got at the moment on this tractor it's not actually gaining its full 75 miles an hour capability so i may have to do some more tweaks and alterations to this one to see if we can get it to work a little bit better than it is um although i'm not quite sure what it is it's the weight issue that we've got with this one at the moment I think I'm getting there, but it does need some more work. But anyway, I want to know, what what do you what would you like to see down here? How What would you like me to do here that could um, improve the situation, could give us a little bit more fun? Um, what could we do to, you know, really... I, I want to try something here that I personally wouldn't have thought of in a million years. I, I want your wildest suggestions. What do, you, what do you think we should try? Is there anything that you've always wanted to try in a game but you've never actually done it? Um, some things I'm not going to be able to. I just I won't have the technical know-how. But I, re I, I want to know what, what, what... So what, what do you want to know? Well, what, not what you want to know. What do you, what, what do you want to see? What do you want to do? What, what do you think I should try on this um, particular little road here? It's a little bit rough going down through here. But, yeah. I think that there's all kinds of possibilities. I just... Yeah, I, my mind's drawing a blank on this. So this... I want your suggestions. So head into the comment section down below. Let us know what you want and why. 
and of course you cannot actually cast a vote this week because we don't have one it's your votes that count it's your your comments that count but if you do like someone else's comment then um, make sure you actually give it a like so that I can see which one which suggestions are the most popular ones that kind of thing um, if you've enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and one final thing that I will say before I go we have had an attack of the bots lately a whole load of channels were created clones of my own channel and they started putting comments in the comment section about free giveaways and stuff like that I will never ever ever link a free giveaway in the comments section okay that will never happen you can look you can see if it's a verified channel if it's not it's not from me I don't put links in the comments section if I have a link if I want to do a giveaway or anything like that it's always in the actual description of the video I will never ever under any circumstances post a link in any chat down below unless it's a, a direct link to a mod um, but even that I have stopped doing I stopped doing that a little while ago because of um, the potential for um, allowing for confusion so I don't post links okay there are no links I never ever post a link so don't if you see a name that says Frithgar with a link beside it that's not me that's a clone that's a bot do not click the link it could take you anywhere and it's definitely not from me okay so just don't click links in chat and if you see someone by the name of Frithgar clicking links uh, uh, providing links in the chat uh, there'll probably be a false number of like tens of thousands of likes on that particular comment it's not from me feel free to report it I do I get them blocked as soon as I can see them okay so I'm just giving you a little warning I will put up a video as soon as I can about that because it's something that does concern me I don't want people getting infected I don't want people getting conned out of money or anything in my name it is it, yeah it's I think it's absolutely disgusting so I will do what I can to combat it but anyway until next time Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.